Okay. Hello church kids and welcome to our mine monster bash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Church kids, did you remember to wear your costumes today for Silly Sunday? If you did, make sure to take a picture and tag us at Champion Center Church Kids on the Instagrams. Yep. This has been such a fun month learning all about how to defeat mind monsters. Yes, it has, but we still have one more. The biggest, most pesky, diabolical, wretched monster of all. It's the- Wait! Don't tell them yet. First, we have to play our special mind monster bashing game. Oh, okay. Oh, what is it? Well, ha ha! Corn! Is this the competition to see who can eat the corn the fastest? Because one time I was in a corn eating competition and I ate 10 corn on the cobs in five minutes and it was awesome, but also it made my stomach hurt really bad. No, but I'm ready no, to no, do no, that no, again. No, 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 Charles. The competition is to see who can shuck the corn the fastest. Chuck corn? Like throw it? Ha ha! What? No, Charles, shuck the corn. We have to take off all this outer stuff as fast as we can. Oh. And look, we added little googly eyes so they look like mine monsters. Uh, okay, let's do it. Okay, so we have to each do five, and whoever does all five the fastest wins. I got this. Ah, we've adjusted our stations. Hold on, <laughs> you put faces on this one. Yeah, I said. I don't want to rip its face off. We <gasps> added googly eyes to make <gasps> it look like a mind monster. Chester, We're don't defeating leave. the mind monster. Forgive me, Chester. It's not Chester, it's a mind monster. A negative invader of your mind. It's corn, it has good fiber, it's good for your insides. Corn. I don't know if I can do this because I'm a pumpkin and a corn is a fellow vegetable. All right, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> you have to get all the green stuff off and most of these little thingies, okay? So green and the yellow hair. Yeah, but not like every single yellow hair, but like they have to be fairly clean. Is there a judge to decide? <laughs> um, let's have Rex. There's five. Let's have Mr. Rexosaurus okay. separate our piles. All right. Don't hurt him. There I'm will gonna, be con there will be consequences. Just so everyone knows, I'm really bad at doing this. So uh, I don't I'm remember the last time I've done this. Three, two, one, go! This <laughs> 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 just squirted me. <laughs> it's juicy corn. In the face. Juicy corn. Juicy corn. Do we have to break the ends off or no? I don't know. Okay, no. Ah! I'm getting so much corn on my face. I feel like there's gotta be like a TikTok hack to how to do this. No. Someone watching is gonna be like, all you have to do is twist it four times, jump up and down, and then the No, my corn is on the ground! They have to all be stacked on the table for you to win! <laughs> ah, I won! No. This is on the ground! Look at how much hair! This is on the ground! Look at how much hair you have yours on all is of on yours. The ground. What? Yours is on the ground. I win. No, you have so much hair on you. Your... Do too, look, at, look, she's still taking it off. Look at this. Again, I say you it's don't have all five corn. It's a Medusa <laughs> corn. I put it on the table. I would like to say that I'm pretty sure I won. Look, you still have so much have... hair on yours. What do you mean? It's the same amount as you. Look at all the hair on there. Is it good? Plain. I love how quickly you're ready to try it. It's actually not bad. It's sweet. We just tore their faces off and now we're eating them. Mm -hmm. Take you that, mind monster. Let's just Rex. Oh no, we lost him. <gasps> I clearly won that. Jeez, Miss Corn Bomb over here just might as well just shove this into a sprinkler and just. <laughs> Squirting corn juice everywhere. Woo! Uh, that was so fun. I think you know what? I think I won. You and I Church think kids, I won. Church let's kids, let's know what you think. Raise your hand if you think Tracy won. Okay. 
still look at how much hair's on there. You raise have your so hand, much. Raise your hand. If Charles, the pumpkin one, arise, boo. my father. Pig unicorn says boo. Pig unicorn's asleep. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes are closed. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna start eating raw corn from now it's on. It's actually really seriously not bad. I yeah. think because it's like so juicy, so it just. Why feels does like anyone it's bother boiling? I this? don't know. It's just to heat it up. I think. <laughs> Why don't they pop? Oh! <laughs> that hate. Oh, I can't get it. They're to like, like little. They're like. Aim <laughs> That's like a spray bottle. Oh. This is so cool. That seriously felt like a spray bottle. I'm getting my hair cut. That's a hack if I've ever seen one. Oh no, siblings, stop it. Whatever you're doing, <laughs> keep that cord it's away so from your sister. Stuck on my hand. Church kids, we have a special Mind Monster Bash game for you to play today also. Yeah, we do. Check it out. Ew. <laughs> What's up, church kids? It's me, Teacher J. Myers, and that's right, I'm a unicorn. I'm not a double unicorn like Teacher Charles made Teacher Tracy, but I'm still magical. And today, we have a super fun game, and it's called Ring Toss Tic-Tac-Toe. I'll say that again, Ring Toss Tic-Tac-Toe. Okay, to set up the game, what you're gonna wanna do is use your cups or your cones or your water bottles, whatever you have, and set it up three by three, three rows of three. And then, let the games begin. Okay, and one last super important piece of information. For this game, you're gonna need a partner. So, I brought my friend, Little Noodle Jenna. Come on, Little Noodle Jenna. <laughs> you ready to get a beat down in some ring toss tic-tac-toe? All right, lucky for me and my friend, Little Noodle Jenna, we're at church, so we get to use Real rings. You ready to go? If you're ready to go, count down with me from three and we'll start playing. Three, two, one, go. Tracy, this is our final weekend with our special Mind Monster wrap. Can you believe it? No, I cannot. Let's go over really quick what each letter of the FAITH acronym stands for. Church kids, if you can remember each one, I want you to yell it as loud as you can. Yeah! Are you ready? Let's do it. F stands for focus on the positive. A stands for affirm we are who God says we are. I. Imagine God doing great things. T, trust God with everything. And H, hope for the best. All right, church kids, are you ready to hear our mind monster rap one last time? Here we go! Woo! I'd like to dedicate this to 2 Corinthians 5 and 5. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Yeah. I am. Says I am. If I wasn't, then why would he say I am? I have something that I'd like to share. It's called faith. Put your hands in the air. F A I T A. Take every thought captive. F A I T A. Make it obedient to him. To him. Yes, we will win. I am. God says I am. If I wasn't, then why would he say I am? Yo, I wake up 
alive yeah. And every day's a battle, yeah, I know that But I never worry about it, cause God has my back I am, I am. who God says I am So I live by faith like the acronym And if it's for focus on the positive Yo, that's the best way that we can live And A is to affirm who God says we are He created us to be a star I is to remind us to imagine God Doing great things against all odds And T is there to tell us to trust in God With everything in life, even through the strife And H is our reminder to hope for the best And do all we can what God does the rest I wrote this song to glorify God okay. Now put your hands up and sing along I am, I am who God says I am If I wasn't, then why would he say I am? I have something that I like to share It's called faith, put your hands in the air F-A-I-T-H Take every thought captive F-A-I-T-H Make it obedient to him To him Yes, we will win I am who God says I am If I wasn't, then why would he say I am? We are who God says we are Shout out to all the church kids out there. What up, Jesus? <laughs> okay, Tracy. Can I tell them what mind monster we are talking about today now? Go for it. Yes. Okay. Church kids, today we are talking about the mind monster of anger. And I can't wait to hear about this one because sometimes I get so angry that like when I'm losing in Call of Duty, when I can't find my wallet, or when someone in front of me is walking slower than I am but won't leave me any room to pass, or when I'm stepping on the, all the cracks in the sidewalk and I don't place the center of my foot on one of the lines. Okay, okay, Charles! Move. We get it. Okay, right, right. Anyways, I clearly need to learn how to defeat that mind monster, Tracy. Well, Charles, let's check in with Jimmy and Craig to see what they have to say about it. Meet Jimmy and Craig. Some would say, this is the best mind monster busting team anyone's ever seen. Don't believe me? Go ahead and ask my cousin Joy down at the bagel store on 7th and Pine. He'll tell you. Today, we will follow Jimmy and Craig into a new adventure with a new mind monster. Now, if you're ready, let me hear you say, it's mind monster busting time! Bada bing, bada, bada boom. Let's see! Let's see! What, Mom? You need to come down here right now! Your dog just pooped on the living room floor and you need to come clean it up! Mom! I can't right now! I'm in the middle of this game and if I lose, I lose. And I'm not picking up dog duty. Lexi, you have till the count of three to get down here and clean this up or else! Hey, Craig. What they do? What's Wake up, man? up, do you know how loud you snore? And two, Quietly. we get a phone call. What's up? What's up, Mind Monster Busters here? What you need, what you're concerned, what you worry? Hey, Mind Monster Busters. My name is Lexi, and I have a big problem. I am so angry because I'm trying to play Fortnite, and my mom won't leave me alone. She says I have to stop playing to clean up my dog's poop, and I don't want to. She's always making me do chores. It's not fair. I'm so annoyed with her sometimes. She just makes me so angry. What do I do? Hey, Lexi, you know, I think that sounds like a pretty stinky situation. Uh, not the mind monster. Uh, uh, anger just makes me so angry. I know it does, I know. Hey, 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 it's all right, calm down, calm down. You know, remember this little guy in the Bible struggled with anger? Yeah, yeah, didn't he cut off someone's ear or something like that? Yeah. Yo, Vinny, tell us that story, please. Hey, come on, Charlie. Hey, what's the matter? I have a drink. Hey, what's the matter with this? Hey, it's pretty good. Oh, hey, friends. We should try one of these. I heard you wanted to hear a story that I like to call A Dark Night in the Garden. Here, get out of here. The wind was blowing. You could see the clouds moving across the moon, making the garden dark. Stay up with me, Jesus asked his friends. They said yes and waited under the olive trees. But when they were tired, 
They all fell asleep. Jesus walked alone into the dark. He needed to talk to God, his father. Suddenly, Jesus heard voices and the sound of boots marching. The marching got closer. It was soldiers who came to arrest him. One of his friends, named Peter, started getting bothered by the mind monster anger. He was angry that the soldiers wanted to take Jesus. Peter was so angry, he jumped up, took a sword, he sliced off the guard's ear, and Jesus immediately touched the guard and healed him. Peter, he said, this is not the way. This is the reason that I was born into the world, Jesus said. But little did they know, after Jesus took the punishment for the world, his father would bring him back to life. Whenever we're feeling that pesky mind monster anger start to bug us, we can say, get out of here. In Ecclesiastes 7, 9, God's word says, don't become angry quickly because anger is foolish. See you later, you bunch of smart guys. Get over here. Don't worry, Lexi. We're here to help you. Is this Fortnite? I love this game. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, hello? What? what? Jimmy. What? Uh, Jimmy. Did you forget why we're here? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, Lexi, we're here to show you a super duper cool verse that helps us when we're dealing with anger. It's Ecclesiastes 7-9, and it says, Don't become angry quickly, because anger is foolish. And that's right, Lexi. Sometimes we are going to be angry, and that's okay, you know? But Jesus helps us control our anger, and he'll get helps us get through what we need to do when we're mad and stuff like that. He's cool. You know, he's a nice guy. He's helped us out and stuff. Don't be quick to become angry with your mom. When you start to feel upset, take a few deep breaths, and remember that Jesus can help you not throw your remote. Don't become angry quickly because anger is foolish. Okay, I guess I don't need to be so angry with my mom. I'll just go and help pick up Fifi's poop and then get back to my game. Bada bing, bada boom. That's great, Lexi. Oh no, I see that Pepsi Mind Monster creeping up again. Take this, throw it. No, I am the Mind Monster of Anger. I am the strongest of us all. And I, I will not be defeated by some child. And, oh! Thank you, Mind Monster Busters, for helping me defeat that Mind Monster. Now I know Jesus can help me control my anger. Woo! Woohoo! Today was a good day for Jimmy and Craig. Jimmy got to play some Fortnite. They smelt some good dog poop, or excuse me, dog doo-doo. They got to help a kid with anger. They read a verse and helped the kid remember it. It was a pretty good day for them. Remember, kids. Don't let those mind monsters get you. Man, this has been a great month learning all about how to defeat mind monsters. It's been so fun. And just because it's ending today doesn't mean we can't defeat mind monsters with faith every day. That's right. Faith here. Faith okay. over there. Whoa. All right, church kids. We hope you had a blast and we will see you next week. But don't forget, it's a great day. To be a church kid! Yeah, yeah.